800 800-216-8211. 800-216-8211. That's 800-216-8211. Welcome back here to the PM Show Weekend Edition, ladies and gentlemen. A true American icon, as I've said many times, star of stage, screen, television, recording artist, radio star, and now an animal skunker, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mr. Robert Conrad. You know, I was thinking about it. What? But you know what? What are you thinking about? Well, I was thinking about it, but I, it's something I, I actually couldn't do is... is, is damaging as that beast was and actually dropping that dropping an employee all that all over the place uh, I couldn't shoot it it was protecting itself yeah it was I could, scared I it was couldn't scared sh- I couldn't sh- I couldn't shoot it I just uh, I wasn't it was just strange I'll but tell you one anyway, thing a skunk sure could shoot it we gotta we gotta talk before we get to the to right, we gotta get Peter. to a guest here but who we, where are we going here what we, do you we gotta go to uh, R- rg and keith and and then we we've and then we've got to go to uh hiawatha and then we've got to talk to uh, uh peter ford about this book that one of our people have read and said it's just absolutely wonderful and peter doesn't know this but uh he mentions in his corresponds to me that we have a mutual friend and two of these people that we'll talk about later. But I also knew and met his father, but Peter doesn't know that. We're talking about Peter Ford. Glenn Ford, Who's yeah. Glenn Ford's uh, son. Yes. And Glenn Ford, of course, was the, I think, the most successful actor in year 1958. But don't let that and fool you. And a great you. horseman. You just he he was, had a uh, caller talk he, about you and he being great uh, horsemen. Yeah, we were allegedly in uh, the survey the best horsemen in show business and uh, I was really uh, thrilled because I had seen uh, him in in uh, uh, westerns, and I saw him on the 310 to Yuma. Did you ever see that? No. Oh, yes, I did. 310 to Yuma. Great, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And anyway, we're going to get to Peter in just a few moments. Peter, hang in there. These guys have been waiting, and they're regulars on the show, so thank Hiawatha, you. Hiawatha, you're on with Robert Conrad. No, it's not Hiawatha. It's RG's next, then Keith, then Hiawatha. Right? RG, you're on with Robert Conrad. Go ahead. Go ahead, RG. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, brother. You sound good. You're a real pappy, I'll tell you. Yeah, thank you for that's a compliment. I loved him. Did Did you know that I talked to your buddy the other day? I don't know. I got a, several buddies, two or three. Oh, uh, Larry. Oh, that's nobody of mine. That's your buddy. <laughs> Stop yeah. it! You like Larry Manetti? I bought the book. That. Oh yeah, you you bought the book? The one that's Aloha Magnum. You bought that? Yeah. Oh, hell, you should have told me I would have sent you a copy. Oh, come on. Would you stop? Uh, all right, so anyway, go what ahead. What I want to do, up? though, I want to buy yours. Do so you know when it's going to be repaired? No, I'll tell you with mine, uh, this is the absolute. I'm going to send you a copy of mine. I mean that. I, I'm going to, because you've been, you know, a good, loyal friend, I'm going to say. Wow. I'm probably going to have a group of people that I'm going to embrace and send them uh, some. Well, that's original. very nice. Very heartwarming. Thanks, RG. Now, what's up? we got to move you on. Um, um, I got something I want to play for you. Take one second. All right, go. Okay. Did you like it? I hated it. What was it? That's Tarzan, Johnny Weissmuller. Oh, that's enough for you. Did, did you get that? He just played Tarzan, Johnny Weissmuller. I got Tarzan. All right, that's you. enough. You need to take a shower, R.G. Talk to you later. Thank you so much, R.G. 800-336-2225. We got Keith, who's standing by in Virginia. Keith, you're on with Robert Conrad. Hey there, guys. Hey, Keith, go for it. There's Keith in Hiawatha, and then there's Peter Ford. What's up, Keith? Well, I don't. I don't know how I can. Uh, how I can uh, follow uh, Tarzan here. Oh gosh, I don't know either. But uh, you know, if, if it's uh, if it's in a what's a, if 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 a string is in a knot, patience will untie it. Patience will do anything if you only try it. What's hey, your man, comment, there, Keith? Did you like that, Keith? I like it. You know what? You, I've heard you say that in the past, and I've told that to my children now, and uh, that is uh, going. I've had so much mileage out of that. I got to tell you. Hey, that's from mom, man. I got so much mileage out of it too, because she'd look at me and point that finger at me and say, "If a string is in the knot, patience will untie it. Patience will do anything if you only try it." Okay, mom. Okay. You're not gonna. You're not. You're not gonna whack me, are you? I might. Anyway, go ahead. What's up? And it applies in all areas of life, too. It's amazing. Yeah, thank you. You're right. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize. I haven't called in so long, and uh, I've been having withdrawal symptoms here. And 
So I just, uh, you know, just want to say I'm missing you guys and uh, haven't had a chance to call. So. Well, well, it's kind of Appreciate you to mention that. In, yeah. And thanks for being a part of the show. And don't worry about it. We get a lot of emails and keep them coming and a lot of phone calls. So, but don't worry about it. But do it. Keep it coming. All right. All right. I got one quick question. Go What's for that? it. All right. You've got the Mouseketeers Club now, right? For the Robert Conrad Mouseketeers Club, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's for women. Yeah. Have you considered doing that version for guys? I'd love to do that. What are we going to call the guys? Three Stooges. No, I'll knock you on your tush. What, All right, uh, bad idea. Uh, bad idea. You got an idea, Keith? What is it? How about... Tune for a...